Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at probability distributions, particularly the exponential distribution. So essentially what I'm going to do here is look at this question. What is wrong with that marker? Look at this question here. Okay. A power supply unit for a computer component is assumed to follow an exponential distribution with a mean life mu equals 1, 2, 0, 0 hours. Okay, so on average we expect this, we expect our component to last 1200 hours or 1200 hours. So the simple enough question is, what is the probability that the com component will, one, fail within the first 300 hours, two, survive more than 1500 hours, or three, last between 1200 and 1500 hours, or 1200 hours and 1500 hours. Now, to assist us, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to our formula sheet. So just go through the exam paper there. And we'll pick this out. This is what we're looking for. Okay. Now, the probability of x less than or equal to k is equal to 1 minus e to the minus k over mu. Okay. So I'll, I'll write that out again. Uh, by the way, k has to be great, uh, positive. Well, it actually has to be non-zero to be correct. But, um, so, we're going to have a slightly simp simplified version of that. Uh, sometimes, actually, the question might be posed in terms of the uh, the rate parameter, lambda, where the mean is just the inverse of the rate. So, the you know, uh, so it's just watch out for that. So, I, I'm posing the question here in terms of the exponential mean, but uh, uh, some other questions might sort of give you the rate instead. So, it's just one times the, one over the mean, okay? So let's get started here. So this is the formula, and this is a sort of reduced version of it because we'll work on the basis that x is greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so so this is the main formula we're given. Okay, uh, where k is some constant. Okay, x is the lifetime, k is some constant, and mu is the mean. Now this here is the complement probability. It's a complement of that formula. It's a little bit simpler, e to the minus k over mu. Okay. Now, so essentially, just as a remark, I get asked this all the time, is that the complement? How do you know this? How, how does that make sense? Uh, essentially, the probability, well, this is the thing for continuous random variables. The probability of x taking a very precise value, or a value very precisely, is considered to be uh, negligible to the extent that it's, it's zero. Okay. So, that's how we can write the complement of this as this, okay? So it's a little bit of a cheat, but it's just, it actually works fine mathematically, okay? If the probability of x equal to k is considered to be zero, which is the case for continuous random variables. Okay, so let's just get started on this. The first one is probability of x being less than 300, as in that the component fails within the first 300 hours. So that is, 1 minus the exponential of minus 300 over 1200. That is 1 minus e to the minus 1, uh, 0 0.25, okay? So if, on your calculator, what you should be pressing there is the exponential. That's one of the buttons on your calculator. And then just type in uh, minus 0 0.25 in brackets or something like that. That's what you do with your calculator. Uh, and then subtract that from 1. So let's just uh, calculate that out. That is equal to uh, 1 minus 0.7788, roughly. So that is uh, 0.2212. So that's their answer. The 22% approximately of components will fail within the first 300 hours. Seems like a lot, doesn't it? But there you go. So that's the first answer to the first one. The second one is the probability, well, let's just do that in blue pen. The probability of lasting more than 1500 hours. Okay. So the probability of lasting more than 1500 hours, that is e to the minus 1500 uh, sorry, that's 1,500. 1,500 is 1,500, okay? Just in case you're not familiar with that sort of use of the uh, phrase. Um, this is, again, a little bit of calculator work. E 
to the minus 1.25 and again it works out the same way as it did the last time with the calculator uh, just we should get 0.2865 okay that's the answer to the second one okay and finally this one's a little bit longer the probability of lasting between 1200 hours and 1500 hours okay so what we have here is an interval okay and the probability of being inside that interval is the complement of the probability of being outside that interval and the probability of being outside that interval is being the combination of probability of being too low plus the probability of being too high okay now so this we could break the problem down uh, to two very simple sub problems so this is the probability of x less than or equal to 1200 hours and this is the probability of x being greater than 1500 hours which is one we just calculated already so we don't actually need to do that again okay so um, the probability of x being less than 1200 now remember that's the mean that's a, you're, you're gonna find this answer a little bit strange but you know just bear with me in this that's the average Um well not not as intuitive as you think but remember this is a, um, a skewed distribution so this is 1 minus the exponential of minus 1200 over 1200 okay and that is not point six three two one okay so that's the probability of um uh being too low as in the lifetime is less than or equal to twelve hundred so let's just piece it all together so the probability of being inside our interval is one minus not point six three two one plus not point two eight six five okay little bit of calculator work I made that to be about ninety one percent approximately actually just when I sort of give you the final answer here uh, allowing for a little bit of rounding error because I'm just reading this off some computer output that is my answer there for the last one okay so that is an exponential distribution worked example.